Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's called Antiviral Factory 2013. It's a new road that's doing the rounds. They're pretty easy to remove, but if you've never come across one before, it can be pretty daunting and difficult to remove. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to remove this type of uh, rogue from the system. Don't pay for it, it is a fake uh, program, and I'll show you how to remove it. It's pretty straightforward, okay? So the first thing it does is actually blocks everything, as you can see, blocks your task manager and also your browsers. It will block those when you try to open them, like so. Now when you get this uh, Internet Explorer browser come up, it will let this page come up, but when you go to Google, it will block it. And this is the page you'll get, but you can still download a direct link from a site from here, which we'll do in a minute. But as you can see here, this is basically blocked it, okay? And they need to have this running so they can get payment for their program, which is a scam, obviously. So here we can uh, register the actual product in a second, but um, I'll let this uh, scan finish off. It's in programs data. You can find it out by right clicking on the icon on the screen here, and you can see it's in program data and that's a hidden folder so you will need to show hidden files and folders and you can do that by following this here like so and you'll see it in that actual location so once we go inside here you'll now see a visible file it's a bit translucent and inside there you'll see a big uh, long number and in there this is the actual rogue itself okay and these are pretty easy to, to kill off and I'll show you how to do that Okay, so now we know where it lives, we're going to just kill this off. So if you want to remove this, um, you can use an activation uh, key, and I'll show you how to do that. All you need to do here is click on here, and it will take you to here, and this is what they want you to do. They want you to pay for this, and you can see the amount of money they're charging for this crap piece of uh, software that doesn't even work, okay? They're scamming you out of it, okay? So don't ever pay for these. So let me close this off. And uh, we'll registration, uh, go to registration area, and inside here you can put this code in what you'll see on the screen right now. And this will activate the actual product, okay, which will allow you to run Malwarebytes straight off the bat here. You can download stuff and then everything will be okay. It doesn't remove it, but you still have to remove it yourself, okay. But it gives you that ability to do that. Now if that doesn't work, I'll show you how to go about removing it. Now the best thing to do is boot into safe mobile networking. And if you don't know how to do that, then the instructions should be on the screen right now. So what we're going to do is remove it from the desktop. Um, but it doesn't run in safe mobile networking. So I'm just going to show you how to remove it just in case it ever starts to stop uh, safe mobile networking uh, from working. So I'll open up Internet Explorer here. And uh, what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then download dot bleeping computer dot com forward slash uh, Grinler and then forward slash rkill dot com and then push enter. Don't worry about this box here, we can just close it off and just move that to the side. Now you will see nothing's come down at the moment, but if we click on this ignore warning, what that's going to do is going to allow us to actually download the file that we want. Now you can use Process Explorer or whatever you want to, to kill the process and delete it. It's just another way. So we're going to click on this and then you should see the download come. Okay, so we're going to save this to our desktop. And let that come down. That's now come down, and we can now close this off. Now we've got our file. Okay, and remember you can do all this inside a safe mobile network, and you don't have to worry about all this. Um, but we're going to run this from here. Okay, and that's blocked that. Okay, so we're going to rename this file. I'm going to rename it iExplore. .exe, like so. Changing the whole format of that file there. And uh, we're going to change that and run this program. 
and there we go it's now terminated that as you can see and killed that process it's just performing some uh, miscellaneous checks on the system just to make sure there's anything else on the system it will kill those off so now we can run some uh, other programs and there we have our file and you can see what it's done here it's removed and terminated this file here okay so if we go back to this area you can see the registry keys it's changed so if we go back to that location program data there is a folder here but it stopped the process it's killed that okay so what we can do now before before we reboot is just delete that whole folder like so and that's because the process is not running and this will free up the system like so and that's now killed off okay we can now get rid of that we don't need that anymore and we don't need that and you can just mop up and tidy up here now once you've done all that I'll advise you to uh, run malware bytes as well just to make sure there is nothing else left on the system I'm gonna update malware bytes and then we're going to run a scan a quick scan okay that's the scan nearly finished gonna click OK and show the results now you can see we've got some in the recycle bin here and that's because uh, they're the ones that I've just deleted and if we emptied the recycle bin they would be gone okay so not to worry about the top two but this one here is what's going to be changed and we're just going to remove that selection anyway okay and that's now done and all you need to do is restart the system at this stage and you should be back up and running you can run other programs like hitman pro and stuff like that and do online scans if you've got more infections but if it's just this actual uh, rogue on the system then you should be pretty much good to go okay Anyway, I think we're going to call that one done. Hope it helps you out. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with all the latest videos when I upload them, okay? And I shall see you in the next video. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.